me. So, I have got massive great big suitcase here. And we're going to do it together. So, I really need to get a new suitcase, guys, because it's covered in stamps and it's just battered, this suitcase. Absolutely battered. So, you're going to pack with me. I'm going to bring stuff in and we're just going to go through it together, yeah? So, outfit, right, let's just start off with the old basics, all right? Because pyjamas. Everyone needs them. I've actually just got these. I'm just going to take two pairs. I'm not going to try these ones on for you, but I've tried all the rest on. Just some little white PJs from Boo Avenue, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to try rolling all my clothes up, guys. I've never done this before. So this is the first for me. We're going to roll it up, okay? We're rolling. So I've actually rolled, like, all the other stuff already, but I've tried it all on, so all the other stuff's gonna have like try on videos. Whereas this, I'm not gonna try pajamas on because I'm not being funny, I don't feel like I need to try pajamas on. This is just like a little crawl. Again, from Boot Avenue. Right, so let's get into the outfits, hey? Let's start off with evening outfits. So I've actually got this really cool, like, backless dress. It's from Byers May Rose and these amazing cowboy boots. Now, anyone that knows me knows that this is literally just me in the outfit. I love, like, cowboy boots. I'm obsessed with anything like that. I just think they're really cool. But this little mini dress, it will be on the screen now, is, like, backless. It's so comfortable. I think I got that in a size 8. But it's honest to God a dream. And then we've got, guys, something similar. But another one of my chilled evening outfits is this dress from Mermaid. So I hope people do it with... It's like I've never packed before in my life. I'm trying to learn how to do this packing, but I just think, where do you put your shoes then? I'm really bad. I need to start putting my bags and stuff in their bags when I pack them. But this mustard dress is stunning. Stunning. It's literally gorgeous. I'll put the bag in later. And with this Chanel bag that I'm going to take, this gold Chanel bag. My trusty gold Chanel. So my next evening outfit is when we start dialing up the heat. And I'm going to put these in their bag because these match and match shoes, well, they're literally my life. I absolutely love them. They're my favourite shoes that I've got. And we don't want them diamonds being ruined. And the same with the diamond bag that I'm going to take. My Balenciaga diamond bag. That's definitely going to get wrapped up too. But I've got this skirt. It's from the Attico. Um, which is an amazing designer that I literally love. And then we've also got this white little top from PLT, which I'm going to wear with it. Um, which I, I love mixing brands. This evening outfit is my favourite. So as you see, I'm definitely going to wear my hair up with it. It's from Char the Label, which is actually my friend's brand. And then my bag is Bottega. And then my shoes are also Bottega. I, I, do you know what? When I first bought these shoes, didn't think I would wear them. Oh my goodness. And same with the bag actually, to be fair. I bloody wear it everywhere, everywhere I go. But this outfit is honestly my favourite that I've got. So I'm going to wear that maybe on the first night because I know that I'm going to feel my best. <laughs> because I'm going to like have nice fresh hair and all that. So probably wear that on the first night. Yeah, first night that. I've then got this rat and boa top. Oh, MG, I need to get tip tape. Bad. Bad. My boobs are going to be all over the gaff. I'm going to be eating dinner. I've got a funny story, right? So I actually got, with this white skirt from PLT, I actually got a dress from Rat and Boa before, and I went to a dinner with my friend, Anushka, and I don't know how she didn't know. Maybe she was doing, it, doing me dirty, but I don't think she was. I went to the toilet, and my whole boob was out. The dress... I walked through the whole restaurant, went to the toilet, the dress was scooping me like this. I wondered why the security guard wasn't looking me in the eyes because my whole boob was out. These sandals are actually Zara, UK size 4. What a fabulous find. Bag is not so cheap. <laughs> Bottega. What's in there? Lip gloss, I'll keep that in there. I always find I actually have another evening outfit and I'm really hoping that it comes in time. It's an amazing green feather dress, so if it does, I'm obviously going to put it on this video. But if not, then I'm a bit screwed. Well, I'm not, but I'd rather have it. I've then got my blue Hermes around sandals, which I'm going to wear with the blue outfit. 
Skirt's from Mermaids and the bikini is from Nina Swim. Not actually that much of a fan of the bikini, to be honest with you, but it's the only blue one that I've got. And my bag is Prada. I love this bag, but I don't know if the black's a bit harsh for the outfit, but we move. I've then got the white sunglasses, but I'm not going to pack my sunglasses just yet, so I'll show you those after. Any more outfits in? I'm actually going to just put my gym wear in quickly, but I'm going to lay it out flat. Obviously, this is all my own brand. So this is all my Safina stuff. So I've got a little orange set, I've got the black set, I've actually got the green set on today. But I'm gonna take a black set with me, well, two black shorts. I'm probably not even gonna go to the gym out there to but I just wanna take it and try and get some content, Safina. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm doing it like this because I feel it needs a layer of clothing to cut it out. But I don't want any of my bags and shoes and stuff to get a bit ruined. So that's going to go in there and just laid nice and flat and then I'm going to put my Chanel bag and then I'll get started on this side now I think. So then I'm going to take this white bikini that I've tried on in the video with two different outfits. So this bikini is from Victoria's Secret. I hate re buying new bikinis because I just love that one. It fits me amazing and then I think I prefer it with the green skirt and the green sunglasses and the bag. Also got a pair of green sandals coming, which I hope come in time. But then I'm also gonna pack my little Prada knit top because I paid a lot of money for it, so I feel like I need to wear it with my Alexander Wang shorts, just in case I don't fancy wearing anything too much. And I feel like I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of long skirts, haven't I? So I'm just gonna pack that with my red brown sandals. I'm gonna show you all like the makeup and body glow and hair accessories and everything that I take as well, so yeah. I'm so excited for this one! This is my favourite! The yellow! Wow! Wow. I'm so excited to wear this. I'm definitely wearing this to Blue Marlin. Oosh, oosh, oosh. Yellow bikini from Nina Swim. Love it! I just feel so confident in this outfit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to go in the top and then, to be honest, I'm probably not going to sign with Blue Marlin, so I probably really need to wear the bikini, but it's there in case I need it. And again, I've ordered yellow sandals and I hope they come in time, but if not, I'm just going to wear white sandals. These in a Prada beach bag. I don't really know whether to take this to the airport with me. I just have it as my airport bag. I don't want it to get ruined. I don't think it will with my suitcase, will it? Comment below, because I'm going to see this in time, so if it will, then let me know. With this little pretty little thin skirt that I've got. God, my mouth's dry. Um, and then I've taken this bikini from Pearl Moi, May. I might be saying that wrong, but I'll tag them below anyway. And I'm also just going to take this little Burberry bikini that I've got. I wore this in Dubai, and it's just stunning. It's just a classic Burberry bikini and I just really like how it fit me. So if I don't fancy wearing, you know what you like on holiday guys, you always pack stuff and then you don't feel like wearing it on the day. So I'll take that one with me as well. I video these, but, oh sorry, my white Oran sandals. So many beautiful Oran sandals, I love them. So comfortable, that's why. I'm literally obsessed with them. Um, I didn't video these, but I've also got, you know that yellow bikini is like this orangey sort of colour, which I'm just going to chuck in because I ordered it. And I've also got this, um, I'll show you this, it's not ironed, but Rat and Boa jumpsuit that I wore in Maldives. And it is stunning. It's just as a backup. I could wear that with like my green Bottega sandals and bag in case, again, I don't want to wear something that I've packed or my green feather dress doesn't come. Hope I can show you guys that. Um, I've got loads of stuff here. I'm actually going to pack all of this other stuff in my hand luggage. But I've got some gym, gym trainers. I've just packed a colourful pair because I know they're going to go with everything. I don't want to carry more than one pair of gym trainers. I've then just got some really like casual little dresses to go down to breakfast in. They're all from Zara. So I've got an orange one, a white one and a brown one to go with me. Simple, chuck them on, go to breakfast. I then am obsessed at the minute with changing my phone case 
to match my outfit. And I haven't really got that many colours, but I'm just going to pack these. They're from Case to Fire. But I'm going to put these... Actually, no, these can go in my suitcase. Oh, no. Whoops. But I'm going to pack all my sunglasses in my hand luggage. So I'm going to pack these gold black and gold Bottega ones, which I love. I'm going to pack the others. You've seen these on me. But the other ones are the green Dior's. They're my new ones. Love them. They're obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. Um, my white Prada ones, which I've got makeup on them. Embarrassing. Um, again, super cool. And then I've got these Balenciaga ones, which are my, my, my favourite glasses at the minute. They just go with everything. They're like cat eye. So I'm going to pack those to go with everything else that I don't have the coloured ones and stuff to go with. But I'm actually going to put them in my hand luggage along with like my match and match shoes and that diamond clutch just in case things get lost. And I think I'm actually, and this can actually go in hand luggage. Because I'm actually running out of space, I think. I want to get all my toiletries in there now. For my jewellery, I've had these earrings for maybe five six years now and i thought they was going to be like the most stupid purchase because they're literally plastic guys but i've worn them literally every holiday so yeah i've got these from mermaids lovely hoops i'll link them below these i can't remember where i got them from i will find out and i oh yeah yeah london yeah yeah that's gonna go with my pink outfit and then i got these from netta porter i'm probably gonna wear this in my blue outfit but i don't know if it's gonna be too much or not but um, we'll see. And then I've just got these little earrings. I believe these are from, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll link them below, I'll find out. And then I've just got this from Yaya London, big chunky ring. I'm also gonna obviously take all my nice jewelry I wear, like my um, watch and stuff, but I'm gonna wear that to the airport, so I'm not gonna pack that. And just this Dior choker. And I'm just gonna put that all in this little bag here. I always take all my like normal jewellery with me because I put it in the safe. Guys, so the dress that I was waiting for has come. How cool is this? I'm going to wear it with the bright green shoes. Or I might put some purple shoes on with it. I'm not sure yet. But this is a bit concerning. Isn't it? Right, let's do my skincare packing then. So, I am going to... I'm not even sure if I can really do this, but... I don't really care because I have to show you guys. So the first thing I'm going to take is my cleanser that I've been using at the minute. It's actually my own brand and it's my Cicillic Cleansing Gel. So I'm going to be taking this with me. So glycolic cleansing gel, sorry. Um, so it's got 10% glycolic acid. This is going to help with my breakouts while I'm away. So I'm going to take that with me. I've then got all my serums. So my facialist, so I normally use these... Um, skin cervical serums, but they're quite big. So I actually had a facial yesterday, and my lovely facialist, Sunita, um, she works at Paul Edmonds in Knightsbridge, give me everything that I use in little samples. So I'm going to take the skin cervical Cinnamarin, which is my antioxidant, the skin cervical blemish and age defense, which is my like acne prevention. Then I use, again, my brand of hydrating, hyaluronic acid. So this is my own brand of my hydronic, hyaluronic acid so I take that with me so that's how this is the, this is the like layering that I do it in skin cuticles phyto so they're all my minis that I got and then I'm just gonna have to take my triple lipids so I use the skin cuticles triple lipids cream but Sunita didn't have a sample for that so I'm gonna take that pot with me um I've also bought from Superdrug I normally use the Elemis cleansing balm but it's quite big so I just bought some Medica cleansing water a mini one so I'm gonna pack that I also bought a mini deodorant I don't actually wear deodorant ever I don't ever get BO so I never wear deodorant but I'm just gonna take it so I just picked up a mini deodorant just in, just I don't know why I'm probably not gonna wear it I never wear it I then got some sun cream I do wear a low fax for my body, I'm not going to lie, it's not good, so I'm not going to promote that, but none of this is sponsored, by the way. <laughs> my Listerine is not sponsored. Um, my Listerine, I'll pack my toothpaste um, later on because 
I need to brush my teeth. And Sunita also gave me this amazing sheet mask. I love these sheet masks. So this is the Clinicare one. And uh, it's for dehydration, redness. I'm having like loads of breakouts and I know I've got a little bit of concealer on, but it contains so much hyaluronic acid. So I'm just gonna roll that up and put that in there as well. And then my final product is gonna be my own brand, Tanning Drops. I don't get my face in the sun, so I use these on my face. I haven't actually got any like bronzer or anything on, but this is what I use on my face. I love them dearly. They're the best tanning drops, they don't give you spots. So that is my skincare that I'm gonna pack. I then always take this with me on holiday. So this is the Tan Maximizer by Lancaster. It is amazing. I wish I bought a smaller bottle because I'm gonna pack this on holiday with me. But this is gonna be my um, body cream. And then I've obviously got my SPF. So this is my SPF, it's Helio Care Factor 50. And this is for my face. This is my face Factor 50. Okay, so now we're moving. There's so much stuff everywhere. So now we're moving on to like hairbrush, flat denim, denman, very essential, and a parting comb, very essential. Then we need clamp clips. So I'm going to take a gold one from ASOS. I think this one's from ASOS too. So many clamp clips. And I'll probably take this green one too. Just love a clamp clip, guys. Just in case I want to chuck my hair up or, you know, you never know. Oh, I've also got this. Don't think this is necessary. I don't need, don't need to take that. Don't need to take that. Trying to like... <laughs> that would have made no difference to my bag. In the slightest, I'm, like, I'm trying to reduce stuff. We've then got body tape for that top. We've then got some eye masks. I've also got some face masks, but some more face masks. Because I get really dry skin. So then we've also got some like just little clips and hairbands, essentials. Um, we've then got these clips, which you basically put in your fringe like that. Because I have the most broken fringe in the world. Didn't help, I just dragged that along my head in the world. Um, then going to take a blow drying brush with me. I'm then going to take some... Mm, I can't pack that in my hand luggage, so I won't put that in there. Makeup brushes. We'll pack all of the makeup brushes that I'm going to take with. This one. I love this for contouring my nose. It's great. Um, yeah, makeup brushes will go in here. What else do I need to put in there? I'm, probably, I'm really not going to wear that much makeup when I go, so I don't really see the point in taking a load of makeup brushes. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to use... Um, what else can go in here that ain't liquid? Not that much, to be honest. I ain't a liquid. Powders! I can put all my powders in there, can't I? Like, anything powdered. Can that go in there? Cream bronzer? I think it can, can't it? So I'll put my Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer in there. I love that. I can put... My refire powder in there. What colour is this? It's like water based, this, so it goes really nice. I love this. Refire powder, shade one. That can go in there because it's a powder. I might think I'm smuggling stuff, but whatever. Um, I'll also put my Tom Ford bronzer in there. I love this. So nice for holiday. Shade 2, Terra. I just think Tom Ford do really like natural makeup, which is lovely, obviously, it's what we want. I can also put a hula bronzer in there, because I'm going to take that with me as well. Um, that's it, really. That's all I can put in there. Quite a lot. But um, I don't want to put any liquids in there. I can't bother to separate them. So that's going to be that bag. For hair tools, I'm just going to take this Beautyworks curler and this amazing blow dry brush. It's actually by Dry Bar. It's so good. It's so convenient. So I'm going to pack those two. Let's quickly go over hair care products. So I'm going to wash my hair while I'm there. Reminds me I need to take shampoo because hotel shampoos are always dreadful. So I'm going to take some dry shampoo. This is by Dry Bar. I wish I got a mini, but never mind. I'm going to take a mini K18, which is like a hair treatment, which I put in my own hair. It's good for like rebuilding apparently, it's better than Olaplex. 
I'm gonna take a massive hairspray, which is really annoying. Do I even need to take hairspray? Yes. Um, and then a treatment, which is by Redkin. It's 25 benefits, one united. It's called an all-in-one treatment. That's what we need, we need to save space. And then I love this body glow, guys. This is risky because it, the lid is gone. Is it risky? It is, isn't it? But it's by Coca Banner Bronze. I wonder if I could twist it so it doesn't. Yes, it's gonna run twist. Um, it's a glow oil. It is the bee's knees. I don't know what colour this is. It's run off. Transfer persistent is not true though. It goes everywhere. It's not true. That is an absolute lie. It goes absolutely everywhere. And then the last body glow that I'm going to take, I actually really wanted to take my Chanel one, but it's massive and it's really heavy. I mean, this one's massive as well, but I'm going to take the Huda Beauty one. But body glow is actually essential for holiday. It's not a need. It's not a want, it's a need. Sorry. God, that's not going to fit in there. Um, while I'm here, I'll also pack my other glows, which I'm going to take. So I'm going to take my Iconic London in Original and also my Iconic London in, I think it's Medium in glow because they're two different shades and I love mixing them into my moisturizers I just love on holiday being super radiant like being and now let's get into what actual like liquid makeup I'm gonna take so this is not liquid actually it's my new palette by <gasps> Jaclyn Hill Morphe which is like all like IB3 colory tones me and Amy both got this we're not staying in the same room. She's staying with her sister, so I need to take mine. Sad. Um, I'm then gonna take. Um, I don't actually know why I've put picked that up. To be fair, I'm not gonna take that. It's too thick. I'm gonna take the Dior Face and Body Shade 4W0. I'm gonna take the Dior Illuminator um, Universal Backstage. I'm gonna take that. Actually, doesn't need to go in there because it's just taking up too much room. It can just go in normally. My two Dior concealers, backstage ones, 4W and 3W. Those are the two shades that I use. I'm also going to take the Iconic London Radiance Booster in Honey Glow. I love this. And then for blushes and stuff, I'm going to take the new Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser Blush in shade Provenance. It's a pink. I'm then going to take the two Charlotte Tilbury ones. So I've got Peach Gasm and Pink Gasm. I love these, they're my favourites. Um, that's all for face, skin, whatever. I'm then going to take my Refire Eyebrow Shaper and my Refire Pencil. I'm then going to take for eyeliners, I'm going to just take a couple of black and brown eyeliners because I always wear like an eyeliner in my tight line. They're just like MAC ones and stuff. I don't really think I need to show you that. But then I will show you this one because I'm going to take my Olive Green um, Charlotte Tilbury one, which looks amazing with this Becca Light Wand. Um, I'll, if I, because I've got a couple of green outfits, haven't I? I'm also going to pack that one in red, just in case. I've then just got a really like cheap mascara because I've just got these lashes done by Eddie London. I never get lashes, but I thought I don't really want to wear anything on my eyes. Um, like during the day, I don't want to wear any makeup, so I've got these done. Um, I'm then going to take my Anastasia. Matte lipstick in shade Petal. Love this. It's really nice. Is it? Petal. Um, and my favourite ever lip glosses by Fenty. This one's called Honey Waffles and the other one's called Fussy. The pink one's Fussy. Um, Fenty Beauty lipstick, which is really light. It's called Unbutton, which will go with like my more brown shades. Um, <laughs> there's so much. Lip ointment by Lano Lips. And then for lip liners, let me put that back in the drawer. For lip liners, I'm going to take a range of different like browns and pinky nudes. So for my pinky nudes, I've got Makeup Talk by Morphe. I've got Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury. And then for my brownie nudes, I've got Cork by MAC, which is super dark. I've got Cool Brown by Anastasia and then Sweet Tea by Morphe. So I'm going to take all of those and of course a lip sharpener. And that is my makeup bag. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I know I'm an overpacker. I am guilty of overpacking. It's what I do for a living. <laughs> um, I always overpack, it's so bad. Whenever I go like away for a week, I have to have two, maybe three suitcases. I'm going for four days and I've got two. That one's tiny, but yeah, I'm gonna do an IB for vlog, so I'll take you along with me. Hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a bit of a mishmash, but 
for at give det i gang.